Great job. Yeah, that's awesome stuff. I got a lot of questions for these guys. <laughs> Go right ahead. I there. love this band. Sit down. The whole band's gonna sit down and chat with us for a bit. Yeah, man. Also from Portland, we've had a few bands on from there. That's just really unique. I mean, that's guys, a unique uh, sound. Yeah. What do you What do you call your sound? I mean, is it possible to coin it? I mean, I have some ideas. Yeah. What do you got? <laughs> what do you got? I was just writing down adjectives uh, to describe. Like, I, I want to attach grunge to it somehow just because I feel like that I like that music. But, uh, like, it's a more melodic, epic, Celtic grunge. <laughs> we have been looking for that. Man. <laughs> yeah, that is I mean, else. does that fit it? I, I think it kind of does. If it's... it was Celtic grunge, we could call it crunge. Yeah, there nice. you go. Yeah. That works. Invent yeah. that term. Now, what do you what do you call that? I mean, uh, you know, there are elements. Of, there's elements of Celtic music in it. There's elements of punk rock. There's elements of you know pop and you know. But really, it's you know, it's a rock band. You know, yeah. There's 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 some Americana in it too. But well, um, during the live look in it, it was very REM, Curie, mm -hmm. whatever the the song previously. The first your first song, all the pretty Curie. vandals. I mean, that was that was uh, really unique. I didn't know how to, you know pinpoint that yeah that is great it's I, like every song really has a unique take i'm t i'm calling it a rock grunge and a bastardization of hip-hop and ska <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i'm just saying it, 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 it sounds good to me that, it that, really that does. first song i really love uh how long you guys been doing this how long you been together for? uh i've been playing um as a singer songwriter singer songwriter and solo act for a long time and then um i was here in new york for a bit and had lived in the northwest before but in 2007, I moved back from New York City uh, to Portland, where I, uh, where I was living right. before that. And that's and, when you uh, started. Kind of, yeah, put together this project, and you know, it's kind of been evolving since then. And um, we've made two records, and this new one, "All You Pretty Vandals," uh, just came out. And so you yeah. seem authentic. You, it really seems like if you weren't doing this, you'd be on a cod boat somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> it seems very authentic. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, are you on the road a lot? Are you making a, you know, uh, you living the dream? You doing what you always wanted to do here? I mean, clearly. But is it uh, is it enough for you? Yeah, I mean, all of us uh, do lots of different musical projects, mm -hmm. um, play in different bands. I, I play as a side guy in um, some bands. I've done some work for theater. Right. Um, all all these guys um, play in different acts, um, and you kind of have to do all that stuff to make it work. Sure. Uh, yeah. We've been on tour for about two months in various formations um, since, uh, I guess, the end of September, went to California and then crossed uh, Montana and went out through the Midwest and Chicago and St. Louis. And, well, I guess um, you've been all over the place. Yeah, I, read, I read that, Casey, for the last 10 years, you've been on tour over 100 days a year in Japan and Europe and the U.S. That's a lot. Yeah. Of, oh, yeah. man. A lot of road work <laughs> there. Yeah. yeah. That's what? pretty incredible. But I, I was wondering, I mean, some of your stuff that you do, I mean, you're the a lead guitar guy. Mm -hmm. How hard is it to kind of turn over the reins? You know, on the last song, you're guitarless. Is, uh, is that tough? It's it's tough. Only It only takes some time to figure out what to do when you don't have a guitar. <laughs> I would think so. <laughs> yeah. Kind of <laughs> naked up there, right? Yeah. But, you know, he's OK. <laughs> People don't realize that. If you're, if you're the front man for a band and you don't have an instrument, it is hard to like. You, you wonder what do you do with yourself? Like, uh, like Especially even if you watch a guy used like to have yeah, a guitar. you watch a guy like Mick Jagger. Like sometimes he just loses it and just starts going. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't know what to do with himself. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I mean, you guys seem to have a lot of chemistry up there. But um, how long have you been together as a as a group? Uh, I guess, I mean, the, the band formed in 2007, but there was a bit of a different lineup, but we've all known each other. I mean, Jesse and Jenny, probably guys known each other for like 10, 15 years, and Chet and I about oh, that okay. long. And yeah. Um, yeah, just kind of the Portland music scene is a lot of bands and a lot of uh, people play in each other's bands and bands break up and you kind of end up working with everybody at some point. And um, it's kind of, it's a pretty great community that way. And, We've all known each other and been working that way for a long this time. This general lineup for a couple of years, though. Right. Yeah. It sounds yeah. great up there. Like it's the kind of place, Portland, where you don't want to, you don't want to go to L.A. or New York because you don't have to, right? And you just like it. You like staying up there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It seems more purposeful or something and serious. Like your songs, 
the, it seemed like they really mean something. Right. You know, and uh, Casey, did what was your kind of training? Did you have like, did you go to school for for music at some point or? Uh, I started playing guitar at a pretty young age and trying to write songs also in my teens. Um, yeah. And then I, I have, I studied a bit of music in, um, in college, but it was mostly Irish music. Yeah. Um, so that kind of worked its way into the way I sing. And of course, yeah. I love kind of the intersection of punk rock and traditional music forms like, you know, the Pogues being one of the greatest ones. Um, yeah. But, but no, you know, real formal music training um, yeah. in a conservatory sense. Introduce uh, the rest of the band real quick, if you can. This is Joe Mengus. On drums. Joe, what's up? Hey. Jesse Emerson on the bass guitar. Good job, oh. Jess. Yeah. Chet Leister on the electric guitar. Chet. And Jenny Conley Dreesus on the keyboards. Yeah, good job, yeah. guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Good job. Uh, yeah. well, how can we, uh, how can we find you? First of all, you got to give you want a plug coming up. Where you, where you gonna, can we find you somewhere that you want to talk about? Or uh, We're playing in Boston tomorrow. We're playing in uh, at Johnny D's Uptown, which is in Davis Square, Somerville. Great. They um, must love you in Boston, yeah. right? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have you been there? I mean, have you guys played there a lot? Uh, we haven't. I've played as a, as a solo act there quite a bit over the years, but this is the first time this band has gone there. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah, um, you probably yeah, have so that's at 7 p.m. tomorrow night, and then um, we're playing uh, at the 11th. We did kind of our big New York show last night at the Bowery Electric, but we're also playing at the 11th Street Bar between Avenues A and B on Sunday, and uh, yeah. Awesome, and then how do we find you on the internet? What do we, what do, we do there? Uh, it's caseyneal.org, C-A-S-E-Y-N-E-I-L-L.org, and we have a Facebook page and all that stuff, too. Great. Well, uh, guys, good job. Good luck with everything, and come back if you can. Yes, uh, join us that. again. That's okay. Casey Neal and the Norway Rats, and again, the album uh, you heard songs from tonight, All You Pretty Vandals. Check them out if you can. Thanks, guys, and we'll be back with the rest of the Artie Lang Show after these words. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.